Blind date? She only wants the best for me. Lou told me you're a lawyer. You don't work at a pizza place at night or anything, do you? Not yet. Another psychotic? Brenda was not psychotic. She was just very sensitive. Dad, she tried to stab you with a steak knife. You're trying to lose. I didn't expect the brain surgeon. Thought for the day, kid. It's your butt, not your brain I'm trying to save. I like a little something to suck on while I drink. I thought I was a big shot. Big money, big house, big car. I thought I held all the cards. I thought I could pick the winner every time. I thought I could smell it. But the whole thing was built on garbage. I treated my wife badly, and I knew it, and I didn't stop. One day, she walked. She took my daughter with her. I started gambling big time. Crazy stuff. Long shot stuff. I turned into the kind of man I'd grown up hating. Making the big bucks and being made a partner wasn't enough to buy that off. I'm just kind of starting from scratch again, trying to keep things low pressure. modern airport art. I could do it in 10 minutes with a spray can. What's wrong with people nowadays? Don't they have any standard at all? Hey, hold on, pal. I'm supposed to be here. Shut up. Don't say anything. Morning, boss. Coffee's on your desk. Good morning. No mail, no messages, no new clients. Mm. You must be wondering what I'm working on since there is no work. Uh -huh. Certified public accounting, a home study course. Why would I be doing that? Because when we do get clients, we'll have to bill them. And our bills are going to be just as slick as the ones they get from corporate sleaze bags. Oh, boy. When you come in first thing in the morning and start shuffling cars, is one of two things. Is your daughter all right? Huh? Daughter? Neil is fine. Another blind date? For your information, Lucy, it is not a blind date. I guess I'm not quite as predictable as you might like to think I am. All right, her name's Merritt, but it's not a blind date. I met her years ago. Merritt, isn't that a cigarette? Maybe this is your lucky strike. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, um, you met her years ago? 
Just once with my wife, who set this up. Your wife set you up on a blind date? She only wants the best for me. Of course, we always want the best for those who destroyed our happiness. It's human nature. Well, I can't get out of it now. It's too late. It's tonight. Why do I do these things to myself? I don't even have a car. Can I borrow your car? How did you and Chewy, you know, meet and start going out for the first time? Oh, it was great. I smashed up my Impala and had to take it into the body shop. And there he was in his undershirt, holding a beer bottle and a blowtorch. He was love at first sight. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. You broke up. You and Chewy? When? Six weeks, five and a half days. You broke up six weeks ago and you haven't said a word? What's to say? Lucy. Look, you've got to be really grown up to handle a relationship. You've got to have something of value inside yourself before you can give it to anyone else. Which reminds me, whether you're money double-breasted tonight, it makes you look successful. Counselor. Glad you're here. I'm involved in a complex legal situation. I need some professional assistance. It's my wife, Lorraine. You too? My wife's brother was busted last night for breaking and entering. It's becoming a very delicate situation. What, has been busted before? No, I'm talking about my situation. I have been locked out of the bedroom. My wife is a very sentient woman. She adores her brother. If he should do time, it might lead to some permanent abrogation of my... Conjugal rights? Yeah. You want me to represent your brother-in-law in an effort to preserve your conjugal rights? <laughs> Lorraine has accepted the fact that little artiste will do time. The question is, how much? Cost is no object here. If we have to scatter some pennies around to ease some tight spots with the DA, Mickey is family. He is a reptile, but he is family. Let's discuss our fee. I beg your pardon? How much are you going to pay Jack so that he can get your brother-in-law a light sentence? When men of skill talk shop, only areas of agreement are given voice. Something to do with courtesy. Fifty. Sixty. Sixty. Seventy. Done. Mm. Lou tells me you're an artist. Yeah? Lou told me you're a lawyer. You don't work at a pizza place at night or anything, do you? Not yet. What kind of art do you do? Paint, sculpt, I sing. Life is death and death is life, huh? I try to live each moment like it's an unrehearsed poem, you know? No limits, no boundaries. Doesn't leave much time for breaking into people's houses. Hey, I'm an artist. I work hard. I don't sell well because I won't sell out. I'd rather do what I have to do for money than prostitute myself, okay? You ever been in prison? No. I wouldn't talk to the guys in the joint too much about prostituting myself. I'm gonna do time. It's my first offense. You mean it's the first time you got caught? Yeah. Hey, um, look, Mr. Shannon. I never went in armed, not even a screwdriver. Nobody ever got hurt. Now, I, I, I know that don't make it right, but, um, prison. I don't think I do so well. I'll do everything I can. Hey, Lou says you know the assistant DA personally. That's good, isn't it? Sure, that's great. Okay, Shannon, what mawkish tragedy did you crawl in here to grovel about today, huh? Making a run on the number one job? Could be. Still in the market research phase at this point. What do you want? Mickey Gower. Can I buy a vowel? 
It's breaking and entering. First offense out on the main line. On the main line? Three years. That's obscene. No, Shannon. Breaking and entering is a grievous assault on all we hold dear in this country. That's obscene. It's not bad. I'm gonna write that down. Got the latest poll. Show me. Your strength's in the suburbs. Always has been, my dear. We need to reprint this poster. Why? Airbrush the bags around your eyes. Todd, if I can interrupt the campaign for a second. Mickey Gower deserves six months to teach him a lesson. He's not a career kid, but three years will make him one. Do you hear violence? I'd like to point out that he wasn't armed, nobody got hurt, nothing was stolen. I see. I'd like to point out the door to my office, Jack. Is this the B&E on the main line? Yeah. We think Mickey Gower's connected to the Serrano family. Oh, really? As part of their burglary insurance scam. Was well, that true, Jack? Your little fish swimming in bigger waters? What's it worth? Maybe a lot. This guy's willing to name names, like Frankie the Torch. Any of the Serrano clan, you got a deal, six months. Otherwise, we're gonna lock your rat in the sewer for about three years. And in human time, that's, uh, almost a full term in office. Long time for a man to serve, Jack. What names? Nice tone. I almost believe you. Look, Shannon, I name names. I might only get six months from the state, but I'll be dead. No, I'm not recommending it. And what do you recommend? I don't know. Why don't you tell me the scam? Or don't. Right now, your options are a lot of time or a lot of trouble. I fell in with these guys. These guys know other guys. Guys whose names start with an S. As in the Serrano family. Look, all I did is I go in and I boost the skag. All right? The owners always knew I was coming. They'd leave a window open. I had a floor plan. Tell me where all the valuable stuff was. I boost it, and I turn it to... Somebody whose name starts with S. They turn it. The owner collects the inflated insurance, and everybody's happy. No muss, no fuss, and no danger. So what went wrong? That moron, Frankie Serrano, gave me the wrong address. He's the one who should be doing time, not me. Uh, appreciate it if you wouldn't tell anybody that. Good idea. These guys are very serious players. <laughs> when I think that I made Frankie buy my paintings. Look, Mr. Shannon. I can't name names. I knew what I was getting into. I'll do my time. I'm a big boy. We haven't given up yet. But I shouldn't hold my breath, right? Hey, forget about it. You're trying to lose. I didn't expect the brain surgeon. Thought for the day, kid. It's your butt, not your brain, I'm trying to save. Right. Sorry. What do you got there? Biology homework. I forgot I had lab this afternoon. I would have missed seeing you. Is that okay if I work on it while we hang? Sure. Anything I can help you with? Yeah. Can you hold his arms and legs while I pin him? A dead frog? Can't handle it, can you? It's just like class. It's always the guys who get queasy. They can't handle real life. So how's your real life anyway? It's all right, you know. Good. Pretty good. Pericardial cavity is always a little tough. Gotcha. Have you had any good hell dates lately? Come again? Hell dates? Mom says you have terrible luck with women. Well, she does, does she? Yeah, well, I have to agree with her. It's kind of scary. You're telling me you haven't liked any of the ones you've met? Only Lucy. Lucy who works for me? Yeah, she's real. She's going through a lot right now. She could use a little support. You do know everything, don't you? I don't know why you can't make a commitment. I think you're getting a little too smart. I just uh, haven't met the right... Anyway, my luck's about to change. I got a date tonight with someone new. Another psychotic? Brenda was not psychotic. She was just very sensitive. Dad, she tried to stab you with a steak knife. Well, I was partly to blame for that. Anyway, tonight will be different. You're gonna bring a gun? 
Okay, finito. Intestines, stomach, liver, spleen, gonads. Isn't nature incredible? Looks alive, doesn't it? It's a, a marvelous, groundbreaking piece. Mickey Gow's work. It speaks with compounded reverberations. Well, it's religion versus irony, isn't it? It looks like intestines. Yes. Yes, it's body language. It's the latest trend. It's very reasonable. We have a layaway plan that I, I think... I don't want to buy any of Mickey's work. I represent him. I'm his lawyer. If that little hack thinks he can sue me... Look, a lot of dealers get 65%. His stuff's all dreck anyway. It never sells. I'll go 50-50. I just don't want any trouble. He's not going to sue you. He's in jail for breaking and entering. Really? <laughs> That's novel. Just want to get an idea about his work, see if you give him a show. You know, tortured talent behind bars. I gave him a show. He bombed big. Didn't anybody buy his stuff? Mrs. Winnicott, who's a major collector of postmodern, actually bought a couple of them. Apparently, her cat's like the kidneys. Eleanor Winnicott. Mm-hmm. I know her. I drew up her will. Cats get everything? <laughs> Take a look around, Mr. Shannon. If you can find a way to move this crap, I'm all ears. Skylight galleries, or Skylight speaking. Hi, Jack. Hi. Hey, that's funny. Like, hi, Jack. Of course, it is a very serious problem. I mean, you can't get on an airplane nowadays without thinking, am I going to crash? Am I going to get raped in the desert by some crazy Shiite? Of course, life isn't fair. I mean, nobody said it would be. Still, there are bright spots after all, like tonight. I'm excited about tonight, aren't you? Sure you are. I can tell by looking in a man's eyes. You don't have to say anything. Unusual car. You know the thing I hate about first dates is that there's all this tension. I mean, where's it gonna lead? Marriage, divorce, kids, wild sex, no sex. Of course, I had a very difficult marriage. You didn't. I mean, you did, after all, right? I mean, we all did. It's over and done with. Now you let go. He tried to smother me with a pillow. Jack, how do you forgive that? And Donnie said, I love you, but I love Holly more. I mean, it broke my heart. I mean, I never really got over it. Not really, really. Kids in the third grade can be pretty cruel. So, what was your childhood like? What? I was only eight years old. Don't they play a tune that you can follow? I mean, like one that you can hum along with? You know, like, like feelings. You know, now that's music. You think this guy knows how to play feelings? Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. Trying to forget my... I had a neat, neat time. I mean, really neat. I'm just going to take a risk here. And my shrink says I got to take more risks and, and say, when can I see you again? I mean, you have to be honest with me. It... it I can take it. I mean, it's not like I'm going to try suicide again or anything. I mean, I'm really a lot healthier now. I, I've just given up red meat. Uh, Merritt, I'd love to go out with you again, but... Great! I have theater tickets on Sunday. But I'm dying. You are? You mean, not even Sunday? I hope to be dead by then. <gasps> Hello, Mrs. Winnicott. Jack Shannon. Fine, fine. Yes, I'm still practicing. Moved to a new firm. Very prestigious. How are you? How's uh, Marley, Rudolph, Bangers, and Slappy? Oh, no, that's terrible. Delivery truck backed right over him? Yes, he did love to sleep in that driveway. Poor kitty. Yes, we probably should take him out of the will. The reason I'm calling you is to discuss asset preservation. I notice you have a Mickey Gower painting. Yes, uh -huh. a couple of my clients are interested in your Mickey Gow. Well, no, of course not. No, Mrs. Babcock, it's a painting. Yes, the one that looks like an operation. Well, sure. Mm, well, I'm not at liberty to name names, but they are major collectors. Uh -huh.
Why do I have to take a stand in the garbage strike? I'm running for DA, not mayor. I'm going to ask, and you better have an answer. What is it, Shannon? We're working here. Mickey Gower. Is he going to name names? No. Nope. Then he does hard time. End of discussion. I want to show you something. Mickey's career's taken off. I want to arrange this. You know it doesn't matter. What matters is people are going to take notice. Like the rich corporate wives who run the museums, their powerful husbands who make and break political careers. Mrs. Winnicott held a luncheon on Thursday. She's thinking about launching a free Mickey Gower campaign. Mrs. Winnicott. Mrs. Winnicott. I got to tell you, Todd, I would hate to be the guy who sends their darling up the river for three years. This could be bigger than Hurricane Carter. They launch a national campaign. Bob Dylan writes a song. Todd Spurrier goes the way of miracle hot cheese. All right, Jack, I got it. Guy wasn't armed. First offense, what do you think? You got a deal, Shannon, six months. Now, I don't want to see you for a long time. Deal. Thanks for lunch. Did you save the receipt? For two hot dogs? You gotta make it a habit. Every dime counts. You ought to consider becoming a legal corporation. Putting your tax deductible dollars into your own pension plan is a great tax dodge. Real security. And if you ever decide to get married again, your wife can be in it too. I am not getting married again. Yeah, I know. It's not likely. It's impossible. I'm never going out on another date. Hmm. Pretty bad the other night, huh? If I like them, they don't like me. If they like me, I don't like them. If we like each other, God destroys us. Hey, at least you're not bitter. <laughs> what is it? Who? Hey, what happened to the kid? Six months. Six months? Uh -huh. You skated him? Uh -huh. Lorraine is going to be very pleased, and I thank you very much. Are you a mama? String band division. Didn't you see the uh, parade up Broad Street this past year? Tell you, Jack, that mummer costume, buddy, it feels great. And being a mummer gives you anonymous cult status all over the Delaware Valley. It's an icebreaker for potential clients that can swing an audition. Uh, no, thanks. Listen, I gotta go. I want to thank you again, Jack. I owe you one. Really nice. Yeah. How are you getting along? Fine. What do you mean? Well, since you and Chewie broke up and all. Oh, it only hurts when I breathe. <laughs> I am. You know, I'm supposed to bring a guest to this shindig. Okay. You want me to round up the usual list of suspects? I thought you might like to go. With you? Yeah. Why? Why not? Are you feeling sorry for me? No. Don't feel sorry for me. I am not feeling sorry for you. I'm feeling sorry for me if I have to go out on one more date with one more psychotic. They asked me to bring a guest. I'd like to bring a friend. A friend? Right. So this is not a date? <laughs> not even remotely. Well, sure, OK. Why not? If it's not a date, then what is it? It's clearly something else. Let me do it. 
We got a little gift from the Serrat, all those punk. <laughs> the kid's trying to study. Now stay out of this, you black son of a bitch! Now, why don't you boys tell me why you trying to make a move in my jail without asking me first? There's a contract out on him from the Serranos, man. Dude's only doing six months on a felony B and E. Yeah, you figured out. Yeah, we got no quarrel with you, Ice Pick. You got nothing to do with me, cockroach. Nothing. Hey, man, if it ain't us, it's gonna be somebody else. The dude sang. I mean, he's a dead man. Either way. It's just a matter of time, Holmes. That true? You're stooge? No. I never said nothing. And how'd you get the easy time? I got a good lawyer. Well, I don't let nobody kill nobody on my turf without asking me first. Thanks. I wouldn't be thanking me. I'd be telling that good lawyer get me out because of that contract's for real and I get my cut you out of luck big time business is business you purchase a new car on October 16th 1989 what is your deduction formula? One-fifth times 200% times a half a year. How much can you deduct in the next two years? 32% of the business portion the first year, 19.2 in the second. Huh? And for your average $20,000 car? That's a net deduction of $4,230 in the first year. How the hell do you do that? Well, it just happens, Mr. Shannon. Yes. I'm just here to inform you that I may be instigating a malpractice suit against you. You have caused me irreparable harm and damage. Hey, get a lemonade. Get a lemonade? No, thank you. I do not want a lemonade. What the hell is with you? My wife took a razor to my suit of feathers. And then she tried to burn it. And then she took my Louisville Slugger, my 38-inch Von Hayes, and she tried to kill my saxophone. Right here, I got caught with a backswing. And do you want to know why? Because you got Mickey six months instead of three years. You're going to have to connect the dots for me here. The mob thinks that Mickey rolled over, hence the light sentence. They tried to whack him last night in jail. My wife is a nervous wreck. I'm not far behind. But he didn't roll over. Did you think of, of leaking that bit of information to the mob before they put Mickey next up on the hit parade? Huh? Oh, I think you did too good a job, boss. Call Wilmer. Jack. Your friend is very well connected to the Serranos. I hope you realize that uh, to see us is an act of kindness and indulgence. Whatever you do, don't say nothing about his corpulence. The fine man is very sensitive when it comes to his uh, abundance of flesh. Am I making a perceptible picture here? Yeah, you give me a headache. I'm going to burn your library card. Come in. Whatever you do, don't say nothing about... You're not fat anymore. I had a triple bypass three years ago. They only nailed me. Uh, uh, Jack Shannon, this is, uh, 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 uh... You still uh, call me the fat man. Come in, Mr. Shannon. Sit down. I'm gonna show you something. It's me three years ago. Oh, wow. Blah, blah, mountain. No offense. Lost over 200 pounds. Diet is everything. Still got 40 more to go, but uh, nobody's perfect. So, what exactly do you want me to do about uh, Mickey Cowan? I want you to help me stop the contract on his life. Well, once a uh, contract is issued from the uh, factory, so to speak, 
very difficult to issue a recall. If they made a mistake, Mickey didn't talk. I cut a deal with the DA that had nothing to do with the surround. Oh, with certain unnamed parties, we shall not mention by specific designation at this point in time. That's cool. Price of democracy. Look, I'm sure they wouldn't want to kill a guy for doing nothing. Yeah. Can I just talk to these people? If I can talk to certain people, and if they deem it an honest mistake, then we all go talk to Abe. Abe? Abe the Just used to be known as Abe the Hammer. I heard of him. You present your case, Mr. Shannon. The other side presents theirs. Abe's decision is final. Yeah, like a court. It's an arbitration of sorts, except in this instance, justice is a little more swift. It's the only way to stop a contract, Mr. Shannon. You should know it's a long shot. Is it something you wish me to pursue? Do it. So, uh, what are you doing tonight? Going to an art opening. Alone? No. With someone? Yeah. Who? Lucy. Yes, six points. He's the Duke of Earl. OK, remember, she's fragile. On the other hand, so are you. Be careful. First dates can be tricky. It's not a date. It's not? No. It's a... Uh... Something else. Oh. We're just friends. I see. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Friends spend time together. Sure they do. It doesn't mean anything. Not a thing. It's not a date. Gotcha. Good. Duke, 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 Duke Gabriel. Duke, Duke, Duke Gabriel. Hi. Hi. You wore the double breast. So did you. Hey, you changed the statue. Oh, you have to once a year. They excommunicate you. <laughs> so, uh, I figure we go to the art gallery and then uh, do whatever, maybe grab a bite. Sounds good. Maybe go to a club. You like jazz? Nope. Oh. I love it. Jake Porter's playing at the bottom line. I hear they serve a pretty good sirloin there. Oh, great. I've been dying for a good steak. <sighs> Me too. Do, 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 go, do. Hey, what a night, huh? Did you ever see anything like this? <laughs> hey, come on in, come on in. The water is fine. You know, you robbed my house. You know, that's what sent him to jail. Sure. I caught him with my gun. I know before all this hoopla. He is a genius. I pegged it right away. Do this kind of work and live behind bars. Well, it's a, it's a testament to the power of the human spirit, don't you think? Would you excuse me? You know, it was my gun. Stop. Glad you could make it. Ah, uh, Oliver Skylark. This is Lucy Acosta. Uh -huh. Well, what do you think of the show? It's, uh, art that isn't art. You know what I mean? It's so unpremeditated, yet so altering of the uh, social fabric. What do you think? Um, yeah, it's kind of like those tigers on black velvet. <coughs> yes, I like her. The uh, good stuff's in the back. Take a peek before you leave. I'm gonna make a fortune. You want a drink? Yeah. Ginger ale? Okay. Yeah. Let's twist again. Ice? Just one cube. I like a little something to suck on while I drink. Jack, I see you've met the wife. Jack Shannon? Afraid so. Listen, you gotta do something about my brother. We're doing everything we can. It's a complex negotiation with the MOBs. Very dangerous. It's a face to face sit down. I'm gonna participate uh, more on a direct level this time. I'm gonna write a letter. That's Listen, if there's a sit down, I want you there in the flesh. One case, two lawyers. That's a little redundant, dear. Just remember what I said. Two ginger ales. Ice? No. Appetizing. Jack. Hello, Mrs. Winnicott. Hello, Jack. What a marvelous show. And what a miscarriage of justice that a man with all this talent should be sequestered behind bars is outrageous. 
Well, the assistant district attorney has to do his job. Well, why hasn't he caught that delivery truck that ran over Slabby with real criminals running loose everywhere? I'll see what I can do. Huh? Good. How are you doing? I'm having fun. I come to one of these again in about a thousand years. Let's take a break. Okay. Put something like this in your apartment? I don't know. I guess it's what you might call a conversation piece. Oh, yeah? What does it make you feel like saying? Put on a robe. You don't think that the human body is a work of art? I did till I went to a nude beach. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, what? I don't know. You look kind of... <laughs> oh, no. You're having another hell day and I'm it. No. No, not at all. It's the opposite. I'm having a great time. Really? You are? Yeah. <laughs> what a surprise, huh? How are you, uh, <sighs> doing? I feel all right. And I know why. Why? Because it's not a date. Right. Dad! Dad, are you in here? Oh, uh, pardon me for busting in on the assignation. What is it, woman? There's someone here to see you. Showtime. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the courthouse. Serrano's control the maintenance service here that uh, cleans this building at night. It lends dignity to the proceedings. It's Frankie the Torch, the Xavier Just. Mr. Torch. Mr. Just. Get out of here. This is Shannon. What's his name again? Gandalf. Lou Gandalf. Yeah, whatever. He's the brother of the punk. Brother-in-law of the punk. No blood ties. Let's right? get on with it. You and the punk's brother over there with the fat man. Not a real brother. Cognato. I think that's relevant. Frankie, over there. Sit down, sit down. Now, you each make your case. The jury of his peers will render its verdict. Now, these guys are familiar with the area of crime and its attendant problems. However, the judge's decision will be final. At that time, my decree will be relayed to the Institute of Corrections. The proper punishment. We meet it out. Thoughts and session. Little kid, for what it's worth, we hope uh, word comes down real soon, you dig? Yeah, we do. We hope the word is bye-bye. <laughs> oh, jumpy, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> OK, Frankie, let's see your side of this. Abe, it's so simple, it's disgusting. I have an arrangement with the kid. He does a thing for me out on the main line. It's good bread and butter, this thing. Why do they call me Frankie the Torch? Because he doesn't like guns and knives. It's the last. When he wants a button, a guy just sets him on fire. When you have a thing, and that thing is easy, when you're doing a thing, and that thing is beautiful, then you don't mess with that thing, because a thing is more than just a thing. Frankie, why did you just tell us what happened? We agree with you about the thing. It's a good thing. Kid's on a job, he gets popped. OK, could happen to anybody. But he spent the dime, he's got to do the time. Am I right? That's right. So he cuts a deal. Six months. Six months! For being on the main line. 
With a DA running on laws and orders, I do not think so. Right. Only way you get six months, and it ain't by keeping your trap shut, am I right? So this punk is no longer an asset. He's a deficit. He charged, huh? He's my wife's only brother. So, so when he got busted, I go to Jack and I say, you got to help him get a light sentence because it's a matter of life and grave importance. Can I go now? Yeah, I gave him the address. So what? So you told Mickey 318 Crystal Court. But the house you'd set up for him to rob was 318 Crystal Lane. Hey, Crystal Court, Crystal Lane. I could have boosted them both, no problem. What did you pay him, Mickey, for these jobs he did? Five percent. Isn't the standard cut ten? The standard cut is whatever I say it is. Uh, did you give him something else? Yeah, I agreed to buy one of his paintings every time he did a job. Fifty bucks. Why? He said it made him feel like an artist and not a crook. He's a nut. What did it cost me? So you became an art collector? Yeah, I got a few of them in my attic, collecting dust. <laughs> Hey, I just want you to see that Mickey was an artist first. That was his life. Yeah, I, I see that. But when he got busted, he behaved like a stand-up guy. I, uh, I don't see that yet. I give you the guy's an artist. Right. What, because he paints guts? This means he's an artist? You should try eating dinner with one of his pictures hanging on the wall. You'd be puking all over yourself. <laughs> Frankie, you wouldn't know a piece of art of a bitch on the butt. Oh, yeah? Who stole three dollars and made a killing by sitting on him for five years? And who had his hands on a hundred thousand dollar mural and sold it for seventy bucks? You ever see that guy's stuff? It looks like a three-year-old did it. I mean, big red fish. How was I to know? Shut up! Can we get the goose cooking here, Shannon? Yeah. Suddenly, the kid's a celebrity. <clears throat> his career's taken off now that he's behind bars. Yeah. So I take this information to the DA to encourage him to make a deal with me. I do a thing for him. He does a thing for me. One hand washes the other. The DA, who happens to be running for office, gave the kid a light sentence, not because he talked, but so the DA wouldn't have to give up his political support among the power brokers who run the museums and the art galleries and the Philharmonic. Hmm. Well, I'm going to say one more thing, and then shut up and leave the judgment to you. If Mickey had named names, Wouldn't the D.A. be all over you guys by now? Hmm. Well, deliberate amongst yourselves. Reach your verdict. Take as long as a regular jury? It's enough. Enough! It's not. What's the verdict? Ape, we find that the punk did not talk. Nice work. See you back at the ranch. Okay, he's got a closing prayer or something? It is my judgment that the kid did not betray the family. However, there's a much more serious problem. Serrano has put the word out on Mickey. If they change that word, they lose honor. Makes them look weak. For the honor of the family. We've got to follow through on the contract. Case closed. Had a fumble the pigskin, Jack. Excuse me, Abe. Huh? I really admire you. You're not alone. You'll smooth it over with the couple, right? Smooth what? Honor's more important than money, no question. Coppo understands that, right? Oh, I'm being stupid. Frankie means more to the family than any money he brings in or throws away, right? What money are you talking about? All the paintings you bought from Mickey for $50 each. He just had a hit show. They're worth $10,000 a piece now. Yeah, so I got the paintings. What do I need little Mickey for? Nothing, nothing, if you only want to make 10 grand a piece. No, I'd like to make 20. See, if he dies, his price doubles. I know that much about the art world. 
Hey, your brother's got himself some mouthpiece here. He should be paying you. Will you explain it to him, Abe? Yeah, why, why don't you, huh? So you zip him now, you make a few bucks. How about if I get you five or six originals for free? You see, if he lives, he continues to paint. His price goes up and up and up. You got an investment here. Why destroy it? Where's the honor in that? Shannon, uh, give me a second. Jack, see these guys behind me? They're gonna ice me. They're gonna whack me as soon as this is over with. Those double doors, I'm out of them in 10 seconds. You with me? Are you with me? Hey, what the hell? The kid didn't talk, right? Two calls, one from your daughter and one from the city attorney. Three bills, we only have to pay the phone bill right away. And you got a telegram from Merritt. My life is in your hands. I wouldn't answer that if I were you. But going out with you Saturday night was really great. Yeah, it was. I'm really stupid. Yeah, it was? Yeah, we don't have to go out. We're already married. I make your phone calls, I open your mail, and I lie to the dentist for you. Yeah, you're right. You don't mix business and pleasure. Yeah, you just can't. Yeah. OK, you're fired. Special Shannon Steele on Tuesday. Could be it easy to dance to. Could herald the return of disco. The critics call it one of the best deals of the season. Shannon Steele.